Hey guys, welcome back into more RDR. I've honestly forgotten the last thing that we did. I think we did a mission for the mysterious man. I think Seth was the last, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, we've got a handful of people we need to see. We need to see the marshal go meet Irish for the first time. I don't know what Seth wants, and I'm kind of afraid to find out. And then Wes Dickens again. So we've got a lot we have to get through. I don't have a clue. All right, but it's got to be something to do with that government boy. What Talk was this mission him. called? Fucking is. Where is she, Marston? Who? Who? My daughter, you fucking scum. Where's Bonnie? I don't know. What? I haven't seen her since after the fire. Why? Why? Because she hadn't been seen since yesterday afternoon. You know, I don't think I can cope. If I lose another child... Now, Drew, nobody's lost anything yet. I'm sure she's fine. Oh, Mr. Marshall! Mr. Marshall! Did that say the hanging come of Bonnie McFarlane? Whoever you are! Who the hell's that? Hey, buddy! <laughs> that be your next fucking mayor. Even better! Good day, Mr. McFarlane! Get down from that horse, boy, or I'll shoot. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that, mister. Not if Drew McFarlane wants to see his bony back in one piece. Hey, Mr. McFarlane! It's a nice girl you got there. Get down from there. You know, part of me's got to thinking I should just marry her myself. Yeah. Give her a baby and that. What do you want? That's better. I want Norman Deke. Who? I want him set free. Then you'll get your daughter back, mister. We don't do deals with outlaws, boy. Yeah, you do. Let's not waste each other's time pretending otherwise. Oh, government themselves ain't much more than a bunch of crooks. This is the land of opportunity, mister. And I'm giving you the opportunity to get your daughter back before 15 friends of mine take out all their anger and their loneliness on her. Where the hell is she? Where is she, boy? Bring Deke up to Tumbleweed in a couple hours. And don't get no funny ideas, or I will slit that horse throat myself. You boys have a pleasant afternoon. Yeah! All right, so we're just going to kill all of them. Sounds like a what good time. We do as he says. You and me, Marshal. Mr. McFarland, I'll get you your daughter back. I owe her that. Please do. Let's go murder some outlaws. Who was this again? Hurry up, boy. Let's go. Quick as you can, deputy. Make sure he's tied on good. Stay with me, Marston. I won't let anything happen to her, sir. Okay. Right. Let's go get Miss McFarland oh, back. Could you two get off of me? Excuse you. Crowding much? See, this is what happens when the Federals interfere in our affairs. Are you happy now? No, I ain't happy at all. And I already told you, I ain't with the government. Now you say that, John, but the only thing I know for sure is who sent you. They made me come here. They gave me no choice. That's your federal government, Mr. Johnson. They come down here dressed as cocky as the King of Diamonds, talking a lot of flannel about helping us, about spreading peace and civilization to the West, but they brought nothing but trouble and taxes. It's always I agree the taxes. Wolves in cheap clothing, all of them. Rob you. They make you pay to have someone investigate the crime on your behalf. People around here have been fooled into feeling protected when they're worse off than they were before. The fellas I know don't care about people. All they care about is lining their pockets. No, the Why is this sorry the son of a bitch so important to them? Norman Deke Williamson, right hand man. In other words, a glorified errand you boy. Wait, Marshal. I'll be back for you. Hit him. standards have slipped. We already filled you with lead once, you ugly bastard. Bill doesn't kind of man have standards. Mean enough to be second in command, but too cowardly and stupid to ever be a leader. Don't ever use that line near your deputies. You know, for his sake, they'd best not have laid a finger on Miss McFarland. Or Miriam. I never call him Bill. What is this place we're headed? Tumbleweed? A lonely, godforsaken place. Some people say it's haunted. It was quite a town back in its day. Then they built the railroad to Armadillo and went clean past Tumbleweed. And that was that. Pretty soon, everybody had up to the left. Now it's just thieves, smugglers, and bandits. Scum like Deke here. No popular spot for lynchings, too. Let's try to avoid that if we can, Marshal. 
Was that where I was last time? The ghost town? I just hope you're not taking advantage of the McFarland, Parson. They saved my life. They gave me food and fed when they had no idea who I was. I owe them more than I can ever repay. That's just they've been through a lot. Well, they're both vulnerable in different ways. I wouldn't have been running in and out of a burning barn to save their horses otherwise. I know you helped, just like you helped me. But you got your reasons for doing it. It's no secret why I'm here, Marshal. I told you the very first time I walked into your office. I trust you. It's just all this business with Blackwater and Williamson and Pam. I don't know. Sometimes it's hard not to have doubts. I understand. I never planned to be in the lawman business neither. And look where we are How now. How is the best supposed to turn out? Sending an outlaw to do the work of a lawman. That's madness. Ain't much difference between the two, as far as I can tell. There have to be rules, Marston. Even you must understand that. It's easy to make up rules, but they ain't much use if people don't understand why. Like my son. If I tell him not to do something, he'll do it anyways, just to spite me. If I punish him, he resents me for it. But if I show him why it's wrong, at least he has reason not to do it again. That's nonsense. Without laws, we're nothing more than animals. You look at Deke here. Go to hell! Hey, he's worked hard at civilization. Your boy steps out of line, you whack him. He does it again, whack him harder. You're a good man, Marshal. And I respect what you're trying to do. But from what I've seen since I've arrived here, the law ain't really working. Criminals are like weeds, Marston. Quick as you stomp one out, another one sprouts up in its place. It's the nature of places. You know that as well as I do. Boys will be getting spoke in, I bet. I want to see Jack again. Oh, God damn it! I ain't no use to you dead. What are you complaining about now? Just be quiet. I miss the mechanic where you can just whack someone if they talk too much on the road. Tumbleweeds across the bridge. Yeah. This is a rickety old bridge. Not exactly the most trustworthy bridge. Oh yeah, didn't I leave Seth here last time or something? John, you'll be exchanging the prisoner for Bonnie in the middle of town. Keep your eyes open. I sincerely doubt these scum plan to play fair. Never close them. You bet. Besides, Norm here is going to be my shield, ain't you, Norm? <laughs> It'd be my pleasure. Marston, lead Deke into town. Make sure you keep a gun on that son of a bitch. Got it right on your noggin. It's been nice for the boys to have a whore to play with. I hear those oh. rancher girls <laughs> like it. In the I see you. Maybe she won't want to go <laughs> home. She's been fucked so good. Oh my Get god, that's hilarious. Me, <laughs> Where's Bonnie? I Do it again. Do it again. Well, you thought wrong. We don't make deals with the law. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Just walk away! Oh my god, that's funny. Right in the ankle. Yeah! I don't know if he was supposed to be doing that. But it was just funny. He shot me in the back. Oh. That's kind of rude of you. We're on the same side. Oh, oh, hello. You blend right in. Get him, John. Yeah, it's slow motion. Oh, oh, okay. Where is she, you bastard? The dead eye isn't really working, but that's fine. Man, you guys are really good at just blending in. Thank you for lining up. Oh, 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 oh. Can I get you? Can I get you? Yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah. Wait, re return to the marshal? Oh my god. 
Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Leave her alone! Oh, is that not one of my guys? Oh well, they're mad. Oh wait, this is an RDR2. I can't just hit the rope like that. Don't worry, I got it. <laughs> I shot the deputies a couple of times, but I didn't shoot the sheriff. Or is that the other way around? Shot the sheriff and I didn't shoot the deputy. I don't know. I'm fine now, Mr. Marston. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> what the hell took you so long, you stupid man? Well, you weren't exactly helping me. If you think I'm gonna lower myself by making a joke about being all tied up, <laughs> you got another thing coming. Come on. <coughs> I love Bonnie. <clears throat> And just like that, we are the hero. Uh, it's a good thing for some reason those deputies could not die because they almost did. Why did I think that was a frog? All right, besties, what do you have in your pockets? Let's see what you got. I, want, uh, I miss the ability to pick up people's hats, particularly the top hats. Those are some nice hats. Let's see, they got a little bowler hat. I think that's a bowler hat. Oh, there we go, John. You know what? We're closer to Seth than we are anyone else right now. Uh, that one's on the roof, right? Oh, lucky you, sir. You get to keep your pockets today. I can't get up there. All right. Let us see. Sethy boy, what? Oh, we're right next to Seth. Oh god, what has Seth been up to in the very short time we've been separated? Wait, is he? Okay, yeah, he is really close. It just looks weird on the mini-map. Uh, Seth! Did you enjoy the show that I put on, the little shootout? You had a really good view. Seth, what the hell are you doing? Let the dead bury their dead. Oh, it's like that, is it? Huh? Not talking to Seth today? Oh, the old silent treatment. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, That's quite a stench. Hey, Seth. That's gotta smell like rotting flesh. Seth, come back here. Oh, hey, partner. I was just looking for you. In the grave? Looking for me, what? Over there? How you doing? I'm good. Well, uh... See you later, partner. Where you going, partner? Nowhere. <laughs> okay. Nowhere wouldn't happen to be where that thing you're looking for is kept, would it? No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. Come on, partner. <laughs> okay, I was just uh, fooling. <laughs> partner, uh, you know, the thought of that treasure does funny things to me. Ah, oh, Seth. According to the map, it's somewhere in that big abandoned house. Oh. Okay, I really don't want your treasure. I'm not even fully convinced that it's, like, money. For all I know, it's probably some pristine corpse. I don't know. I'm good. I Don't we just need his help with getting the bill? Yeah, you can keep your money. Too close. Oh, really? The bastard follow me! Oh, where are you guys at? Oh, hi. Did you see these fellas? Oh. Don't run. Dubious as they looked, I figured they must be with you. Don't leave any alive. Where you at? Oh. <laughs> Sneak around oh, here. This can't be happening. Ah. Oh, wait, he 
blue. Follow me. I'm so mad right now. Mad at you, mister. That's fine. You can I'll be mad all you want. Calling me a coward. Rude. Oh, well, I am crouching. But I'm also walking out in full view of people. That's what I meant. I am also crouching. Getting some knee exercises in. Oh! Focus up, John. Oh, you're dead now. Okay. Come on, Johnny. Get it, Johnny boy. Miss one, but actually, no, you didn't. Stay close. Nice one. No, 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 no. Come on, John. Where's the other Kill one? All, mister. In the house, maybe? No, wrong angle. By the tree? That's it, partner. Marco! Oh, Polo. Found ya. Oh, my, oh, my. You didn't even have to say Polo. I can't lose that treasure. Not now. You gotta help me. You gotta go now. It's our last chance. Okay, I'll follow you. Damn, this one's locked. Let's check the back. Oh. Following you, Seth. It's your treasure. You get to go in first. Go to the basement. I don't like cellar doors. Please, before they find it. Cellar oh, doors make me so uncomfortable. <laughs> That's funny. I saw something. Oh, hi. Seth. Are you gonna shoot somebody? Pandemonium! I like him better dead! Well, there we go. This is oh. Okay, John. Sethy boy, come on. It's mine. I found it. You might have found it, but I'm doing all the work for it. You want more? After all these years, <laughs> it's silk sheets and Parisian whores from now on, mister. <laughs> What's in it? Okay, yep. That's a good way to break a lock. What the goddamn hell is this? What is he? A glass eye. I'm sure whoever that belonged to treasured it very much. <laughs> Stupid liars. Those stupid chicken shit maps. Make it a damn fool of me. I'm it's sorry, a glass sir. Eye. It's a glass eye. Stop with the tears and help me with Williamson's gang. 
And you can come up with another excuse to go exhume one of your old friends. Hunting dead man's treasure ain't done me no favors. Sure. Sure. I'm ready for the living. I'll see you and Mr. West Dickens over at Fort Mercer when you gentlemen is ready. Thank you, Seth. I'm really sorry about your dead man's treasure. Oh, oh, it's gone now. I kind of want to see if I could take the glass eye with me. But I guess not. Ooh, outfit menu entry added. I don't know what about that situation made my honor go up. Alright, I think we're fairly close to Wes, so we might as well go see him. Uh, this one, there was someone else in here. Oh, here we go. Right? No. Oh, I picked up money. Don't see the body, though. Okay. Oh, hello, sir. Nice little puddle you're lying in. I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna go. Okay. Wes should not be... Ah, uh, it's still kind of far away, but it's closer than Irish. Calm down, horsey. Oh, I forgot, I named you Bill. Or like any horse that we're gonna get our hands on, I'm naming him Bill. Nice one, Bill. Cause obviously the Bill everyone's referencing is Marion. Keep my eyes on the map for anything interesting. I'm also supposed to be looking for that guy's flowers. Uh, I have- I do- uh, I need to remember what kind of flowers he's looking for. Because I believe I've gotten the ones out of this area that that person wanted. Let's go. But I'm sure there were like three others that are probably just in like little different areas of the map. Oh, I'm supposed to go under this. Whoa. Sorry, Bill. There you go. Doing great, Bill. I think this is the war horse out of my inventory. I think. Definitely an interesting concept to keep your horse in your inventory, but I guess it works. Okay, this is a little bit of a different area as far as like terrain goes. So I'd probably find what I'm looking for here if I were actually, like, riding through and looking for flowers. Let's actually see about that. That's a cacti. I know, I'm sorry, Bill. I did run you into the cacti. Ooh. Oil? Yeah, oil. Can a swindler change his spots? Mr. Marston, sir. John Marston. Mr. Marston, don't be so childish. Why are Come you behind on, a tree? Why are you? Okay, okay, okay. So I made a few innocent mistakes when last we met. Mm -hmm. it, but my plan is still sound. Together we can conquer, if not the world, and certainly Bill Williamson. But first, you need me to do you a favor? <laughs> you read my mind. I can only deduce you have been taking my tonic, sir, as instructed. No. It can give the most ordinary of intelligences a remarkable insight. I'll give you insight. I'll show you what your guts look like. Please, sir, this show of petulance is nothing short of embarrassing. Think for a moment, sir. Think. I'm thinking about how much of my time you're wasting. Um, <laughs> sir. Sir. I am about to do something. Which I greatly discourage in all wise and rational men. A selfless act. For you. But, sir, 
before I act selflessly, allow me to act selfishly and sell some of my wares. Fair enough. Oh, good, sir. Come, and let's go visit some of our fine friends in the other oil business we have here in Plainview. These men need all the help they can get. <laughs> good old Wes. Never change. <laughs> all right do we also mingle with the okay we have to take part in the show i was literally about to ask this couldn't go wrong at all ladies and gentlemen gather round gather round my friends, are you ready to change your lives forever? Friends, hardworking souls of uh, plain view, do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, <laughs> acute chronic sciatic, mm. neurologic or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article which cures headache, neuralgia, uh, toothache, earache, backache, oh, mm. This man is a fucking charlatan. He just got done swindling us down at Chose Springs with this song and dance. I say we tar and feather him right I now. I say we shoot the uh, bastard. I think it's time to take a business elsewhere. Uh, I apologize if science is not get your moving, forte. Get Good moving, get moving. What at all? It was bound to happen at some point. I think it's time we relocate our business. Okay, we'll relocate. For Christ's sake, John, get out of here! Sorry, horsey. Oh, sir, get out of my way. Oh no, they knocked his head off, not the top head. an interesting direction to make that shot from. Oh, here we go. Good shot. <laughs> he got tangled up. Oh, look at him. That's gotta be pain. One less forearm to worry about. Could you drive faster? You won 
Too bad. There's a lot of them for some reason. Okay, we're passing stuff or where we last left them. He probably went off to find a new graveyard. My dear boy, you saved the day again. As always. It always impresses me with the speed with which a group of men can turn from passive sheep into murderous wolves. I'm impressed with how you nearly got us killed back there. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, perhaps we should shelve the tonics business for a period. Let's say we try our hand at racing again. There's a meet at Ratskeller. You're trying my patience, Mr. West Dickens. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, dear boy, but I'm only an aging vendor of exotic elixirs, not the bloody U.S. Cavalry. And forgive me if matters take some time to prepare. <sighs> okay. You know what? Another day of saving. Oh, wait. We can just do another mission for him right now. All right. Irish is going to be waiting on us for a while because we're like right here. Oh, careful, horsey. Sport of kings and liars. Mr. West Dickens. Ah, Mr. Marston. How wonderful <laughs> to see you, sir. Through his pants. How wonderful. Are we ready then? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, nearly, sir. Barely, nearly, sir. I just need some cash to get some extra hardware fitted to my old Trojan horse here. You, you what? Uh, never mind, sir. <laughs> I can only presume that you have not enjoyed the benefits of a classical education, so I will not take umbrage if some of my illusions sail over your head, sir. I won't pretend to understand. Yeah, don't ask me for money either. You understand me. Either we do this right now, or I put a bullet in you and get on with my day. Please, I knew you were a violent man, Mr. Marston, but I did not think you were a stupid one. We need money to outfit my carriage, to turn a simple tradesman's vehicle into something more subterfuge. <laughs> and I'm about to tell you how we are going to gain said cash. Isn't now, I know that you ride very well. So come, sir, to Rathskeller Fork. Are we doing another race? Let's as long as I don't have to boy, drive. I'll show you the way. Hey, no! Damn it. I was trying to avoid having to drive. Let's go. So how are you, John? Okay, all things considered. Hopefully we can get through today without running into another army of your satisfied customers. Onwards and upwards! I refuse to let the blind stupidity of the proletariat derail my calling in life. Nothing blind about it. I'd say they saw right through you. <laughs> ah, before knowledge comes down, my dear boy. Everybody knows you're as crooked as a dog's hind leg, Wes Dickens. I resent that implication, John. I wasn't implying. <laughs> I was telling. If you're such a successful businessman, what are you doing living in a cave? Delightful and Dickensian, isn't it? If you say so. Are you familiar with the concept of philanthropy, John? I'm surprised you are. Oh, I don't do any of this for myself, John. I hope you realize that. You're crazy, old man. 
It's been quite a ride, John, hasn't it? We haven't gone that far. No, I mean us. Bridgewood Farm, Gap Tooth Creek, Plainview. We make quite a team, you and me. Brains and brawn. We should consider a more permanent partnership. No. This partnership ends as soon as I have Bill Williamson. I appreciate your help, but I've just about had it with all your schemes. You need to realize what's at stake here. I know, John, I know. Just win this race and we'll be ready. I give you my word. Hopefully. I do love how much wittier John is in this game. I guess it makes sense because he's older and also because RDR2 there just is, didn't John. focus on him. Alright, is this another chariots race? Can I just use my good old war horse bill here? I'll let you go first. Or not, because you're going in. To... Never mind, Wes. Go this way. Alright, it's just a horse race. Gentlemen, this will be a fair race. No shooting, stabbing, cliff pushing, rock throwing, cactus grinding, neck lassoing, setting Damn fires, it. or other acts that causes a rider to unfairly lose his weight or bleed. I was waiting for them to say lasso. Out. Get yourselves ready. Set. Go. I was yeah. waiting to see if they'd say no lassos. Which I personally think. It's not fair. Out of my way. I literally just got a lasso. I should be able to use it. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Nice try, mister. Allow for maximum speed. Stay on the road. Let's go. All right. Well, we pushed to the front. Let's just try to stay here. Yeah. Might just be the horse, but honestly, these races are not that hard. Ooh. A little bit more of a narrow path. The old bridge again that I'm convinced is going to fall at some point. Yeah. Try not to run into the crowd, though it would be interesting. No, it's not. We're fine. I don't know if I could have gone the wrong Let's direction go. or something right there. Let's go. Oh, hey! I see the starting line. Someone pay West. He saw, he conquered. <laughs> what a fantastic spectacle, John. 
Let's take a moment to bask in the glory of our victory. Have we got enough money now? Yeah, yeah, all right, all right, all right. Uh, yes, once Seth and Irish have furnished their side of the bargain, I think we should be ready. Quite a team we've assembled, don't you think? A bunko, a grave robber, and a drunk. How could things possibly go wrong? Well, we haven't met Irish yet. That's something we gotta go take care of. Got a stranger. Let's go see what this is about. I'm gonna die alone. Oh, well, that's intense. You okay? <laughs> hey, partner, I need your help. Oh. You and every other fool around here. No, they took her. They took my love. They stole Jeff's heart and they, they took her away. What, what are you talking about, they took, friend? They took my love. They took Jeb's love by them gangsters. They hide out of tumbleweed. <laughs> can you help me, partner? Partner, can you help me? Oh, I doubt it. <laughs> but if I head up that way, I'll see what I can do. Help a fella out, partner. Have a soul. <laughs> All right, just please stop crying. I will go check on this matter. Look for Jeb's love in tumbleweed. <laughs> Oh, he's Jab. Okay, he was talking in third person. I'm like, who's Jab? Puppy, go away. All right, Tumbleweed. All right. Oh, who are you? Wait. Oh, this might be interesting. Who are you to judge? That's an interesting title for a mission. I'm John Marston, which means I can judge everyone, including myself. But yeah, John's a lot wittier in this writing, which is really fun. I'm not saying John was dumb in RDR2, but he was definitely... I don't know, you can feel he was on the younger side. Is that... That's probably a flower I've already picked up before, but I'm still gonna check. That's the flower. Oh no, maybe I do need desert sage. Let's go. coming from Whoa. I sworn I heard it that's one thing I really do miss about RDR 2 is that all our altercations would show up on the map Move on, John. Alright, let's go see what we have to judge Jeb about. Apparently they stole his love. That can mean so many things. Oh. oh. Hold up. Sorry, Bill. We gotta head up this little canyon here. Slow up. Oh, they're just are they just chasing horses? from ah 
A little bit of overkill. We all need help, Mister. Oh. dead okay I was wondering what I was hearing what have you got for me I hope it's repeater ammo because I need that oh John we just gotta do circles around him Bill stop running okay now we can go find Jeb's love I think I hit a squirrel Or an armadillo, whatever's out here. Maybe more for you to do here if you come back later. It's deserted right now? Oh. Can I just slide down? Yes. Yes, I can. What do you want? Yeah, such a sweet sugar. What you doing here, mister? I've come for you. A mercy mission. Your poor wretch of a man lost his mind. I seen him at Raskeller Fort. Uh, my man? My man's dead. Lawman shot him about a month ago. Shot him in the back, coming out of a cat house. Gave himself his medals. Just like I gave myself to that poor bastard. Unless you've been to hell, you ain't seen no man of mine. <laughs> then where is she? Who? Jeb's girl. Who's Jeb? Creepy kind of guy, short black hair, mustache. Oh, is it his horse? Oh, my, oh, my. <laughs> this is Lucy. This is Jeb's girl. You dumb fool. Uh, Took it off him about a week ago. Hmm. Then you better come with me. <laughs> yeah. We better get her back to her man, huh? You all made my day. What a fine romantic you is. <laughs> okay, is she just gonna Wait, let us take on, the horse? Alright, uh, follow me. I did not expect her to just let us take the horse. Um. Wait a minute. No, that other purple thing's the flowers. Come on, Belle. We got places to be. And our friend is very confused. Ma'am, ma'am, that is not how you exit a stall. That is not the way that is supposed to be done. Bill, could you come here? <laughs> Our friend is very confused and I need you. Okay. <laughs> you should have seen the look on your face, mister. I bet you thought you was being a real hero. I should never have listened to that crazy fool. Come over here. Mercy mission. So did Jeb offer you some kind of reward for this? No, miss. Crap! I was trying to help. Let me see if I can't fix that. I was trying to, like, guide the horse out of that stall. But the game's like, no, you have failed. Okay, let me see if I can't go back really quick. Come on, man. Okay. Right, follow me. Attempt number two. All right. Um, just to warn you, lady, I'm not quite sure where I'm going. So I'm gonna do that. Oh, that's a cactus. I gotta ask, Mister. Didn't Jeb strike you as being kind of funny? You know what? Oh, maybe. Hey there, Lucy. You excited to go back? To Special man. Miss, are you speaking of that horse? <laughs> well, Jeb sees something in her, doesn't he? You think he's gonna have flowers waiting for her? There's some things I'd rather not think about. Yeah, that's Mister, one of them. Mister, I gotta thank you. I'm gonna remember this one for a long time. I would prefer not to. Especially if what we're alluding to is what's going on. People be weird, man. 
wait a minute. This is like a straight shot. Why was, why did I go like a roundabout way when I was going there? All right, whatever. Whatever. asking me to go this way. Oh, because of the marker. I could have just stayed straight. Alright. That's what I get for trusting my own markers too much. Mister! Mister, you found her, mister! Oh, I found her, alright. Come here, girl. Come to daddy. Oh, you're so beautiful. I'm so strong, yet such a lady. I long to hold you. I missed you so much. Can we get the horse back to the you woman? Got problems, friend. Oh, I ain't got no problems. Not now that she's back with me. Oh, I remember a cold night that we spent together. Every night's been cold without you, my sweet thing. Oh. I thought I was sick in the head. I told you he was funny, mister. <laughs> Life out here does that to people. Oh. I should know. My daddy kept goats. Oh, no. You know what? That's not something you need to share. Bye now. Me and Lucy got some catching up to do. You know what? This can't be I'm gonna steal this I horse. Yeah. Go, I'm just gonna go. go. I'll pay off the bounty later. That just creeps me out. Bill, Bill, come on. We're leaving. Yeah, we're just gonna go. At $20, I can afford $20. To save the sensibilities of this horse any further. <laughs> oh man, whoever's... They're catching up quick. Stay with me, Bill. Stay with me. Posse locates you, they will arrest you or kill you. They can certainly try. Okay. I'm proud of my life choices. I'm just gonna take this horse. Um, if I'm gonna pay off, where do I go to pay this off? Hold up. There, uh, that doesn't help me at all. Oh, uh, didn't I pay off something last time here? Uh, it's a little bit further than where I would like to go, but I'm go. pretty sure I've paid off a debt there. Yeah, I just couldn't leave the horse behind, you know? It's fine. We could probably- we should give it back to the woman if we could. You can keep the horse. You know what? Be free, horsey. Be free. Get out of here. Run for your life. Bill and I have to go pay off a bounty now. $20 for a small piece of mine over a creepy NPC. Oh, you're fine, Bill. It's probably just a cactus. about this is that if I don't feel like riding Bill all the way back, there should be a stagecoach right here. Hi, friends. Pay me no mind. Just gotta pay off a quick debt. Horse thievery. Anything for a quiet life. Fresh air is a fresh start. No, no. Nothing foolish now. Nah, give me like a day. Near where? Okay, I could ride the horse back, or I could take the stagecoach. I get lazy. Bill needs a break from being with John. He's still gonna have to walk regardless, but... He needs a break from being with John. 
It was a bunny with antlers. I would like to kill it. I don't really do hunting in this, but also I didn't enjoy hunting too. I get really bored really easily. All right, Irish. Howdy. Oh, didn't walk around, I had to jump it. A Frenchman, a Welshman, and an Irishman. Oh. Yes, boy, oh, you missed up properly this time, didn't you? You little paddy bastard. You thieving Nick cunt. You got it all wrong, Welsh. All wrong. It was French, I promise. He said he was going to rip you off. Now he's ripping me off. <laughs> yeah, keep on talking there, Irish. In about 15 more seconds, your whole world's gonna turn black. <laughs> What's up, boys? <gasps> Fuck off, boy. Oh, this don't concern you. When a man with a sing-song voice tells me to fuck off, it always concerns me, boy -o. Look here. This petty bastard stole our guns. Tried to steal our horses. Lost clear on the matter. I never stole nothing, sir. Never did. Not in all my life. That French cunt is playing with the Welshman's tiny and ineffective mind. <laughs> Push your mind. <laughs> anyway, y'all got horses now. No one needs to die. Leave him be. Who do you think you are, boyo? The bloody cavalry? Boyo me one more time, boyo. This is really starting to get on my nerves, boyo. And you're getting on my nerves. Yeah. You're getting on my nerves first. Ain't nobody speak to me like that. Oh, do I just... Okay. Simple enough. Mr. Nigel West Dickens said you'd help me locate a machine gun. And since I just saved your life... Oh, I can't thank you enough for taking care of those two degenerates. Uh, untrustworthy, poor in personal hygiene, <laughs> lacking in the finer qualities of a, a gentleman. That seems like uh, most people in this what universe. About the gun? It'd be my pleasure. Uh, she's magnificent government issue. It'll be a bit of a ride, but we'll get there soon enough. I follow, follow you. Me, fella. All right, we've met Irish, we killed Welsh, and now there's let's someone named French. The saloon's calling me. Come on then, let's find this guy. Okay, let's get ourselves a What's shiny your name, machine friend? gun. John, John Marston. Stroke of luck you came along, fella. I thought I'd drunk me last breakfast there for a second. <laughs> Who were those fine specimens of humanity? They was me only friends in the world. Hmm. And boy, am I glad to see them bastards dead. We all met on the boat over a few years back, we did. Kick his thieves ever since, and that right there was the problem. Is it normal for friends in Europe to drown each other? Never trust a Welshman, me pa always <laughs> told me. And he got his throat slit, so he should know. The kind of fellows who will steal an acorn from a blind sow and then kick her for squealing. And as for that French bastard... He didn't sound very French. Not for now. The thieving bastards are holed up at the cabin by the Oh, lake. that was Can't French? Wait to see the look on their faces when we blast in there. They'll be more surprised than a slut dog with their first porcupine. You best not be lying to me. Listen, fella, I didn't yeah. ask for your help back there. I don't owe you nothing. I'll decide what you do and don't owe me. I've had enough of your overly aggressive manner, fella. You don't know who you're dealing with That's here. just John's Irish, way. I've met enough men like you to last me a lifetime. The dark-haired one was French? That's just false advertisement. He's more like a... You can I don't know. I was gonna say Boston, but there wasn't a Boston accent. Just inside that chat. What about you helping me out? Uh, I'll cover you from the ridge. I'm better from long range. It'll be a piece of cake, fella. Trust me. You know what? I'm also better from long range. So why don't I just stay here? Alright, whatever. Okay. Get him, John. Who's left? Alright, no one's left. Let's see what you got. Check their pockets. Oh, 
Oh, did I? Okay, I guess I checked. Die, you son of a bitch! Oh. You tried! Good on you. It's not here. That lion sack of shit! Oh, Irish! Where's my machine gun? Let's see. Oh, Irish, oh, Irish, where have you gone? Oh, I was literally just there. Alright. Wes Dickens got some interesting friends. But then again, interesting individual. Bill, why did you run off again? It's always something with you. Duster, I get it. Duster coat menu entry complete. Oh. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, reduced prices at shops. I need to go shopping more, actually. What is that flower? Easy. I might have to recollect the deserts. No, this is fever view. Okay. I should have recollected the desert sage because I'm not actually sure it's saved after that last mission got messed up. Come on, easy up now. Oh. Hit him in the head, John. My bad, I didn't know what this was. Forgive me, Frank. Oh, the horse die. That wasn't my fault. Might have been my fault, but I'm not taking responsibility for it. Okay, I walked straight into that one. They even pay much of attention when it happened. Yeah. Can I just cut down that way? Probably not because of that cliff. I'll follow the road. Come on. Come on. I think I've been over there. Excuse me, dear. Desert sage by any chance or few few. Slow it up now. I don't actually know what that is. Oh, it's red sage! I need this. Sweet okay. Trying to think if I know how to get back to the desert sage that I did find. It's like a purple bush. I'll find it. I needed red sage, desert sage. Maybe fever few and there was something else. Come on. Yeah. Get around to it. Oh, I also forgot I got that treasure map I have to figure out at some point. I need to take another look Go. at that. Easy. Okay, that's red sage. Oh, that's a rock. Yeah, I need to take another look at that treasure map, because I kind of remember what that cliffside looked like. This might be Desert Sage. I think it is. That's the flower. Okay, but he said this is the flower. I could easily just look at the journal. Uh, it's this one, right? Uh, Red Sage, Feverfew, Desert Sage. Oh! I have the three that I need, I think. Hopefully. Because Feverfew was the first flower that I've been picking up. We just got Desert Sage, and we just got Red Sage. That's a nice little line you guys are falling in. So we should be good. We might have to make a run back to the flower guy and go ahead and see if we can't pass these off. Come on. Let's go. Ah, 
after we deal with Irish. Why are there so many wagons just stopped in the road? That's like the third one. Find our friend. Man is born into trouble. Oh, he's drunk. Who do you hunt? I I see you. Get away from me. Right here. Where's that machine gun, Irish? Oh, Mr. Marston. Uh, I, I found you one. Mm -hmm. uh, Did you? Found us one, Irish. We're in this together. You, me, and an assault on Fort Mercer. I'm the guy that saved you from getting killed back there. And who you owe your life to, remember? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Happens to me all the time. <laughs> you don't want it to happen to you again, do you, Irish? No, friend. I wants to buy you a drink. I, I wants to tell you how much she means to me, how special she is. I'm and good. I want to tell you that if you don't produce a Gatling gun within the hour, you'll wish you'd been killed back there. <laughs> it's the whiskey, sir. <laughs> it gives me the memory of a newborn babe, as innocent as can be. It makes me violently angry. Shall we go look for that gun, sir? <laughs> yes. Let's do that. Okay. Uh, not a fella to give up easily, are you? No, well, we don't really have a choice. The government says we have to. Oh, now I'm the one stuck. Okay. Whoa! I'm following you. Yeah. I love me faithless Flora, the lily of the west. You're not gonna pass out on me, are you, Irish? <laughs> me? No, I'm right as rain. <laughs> or at least somewhere stuck between fair and meddling. Well, you're gonna be stuck somewhere between dying and dead if you try to cross me again. It weren't like that at all, feller. My intentions were pure. I swear it on me poor mother's life. I just get a tad confused from time to time. Honest mistake. If there's any more confusion, I'll finish what your friends in Armadillo started. Jesus, you're an impatient bastard, aren't you? Where's the gun, Irish? That's true, though. I hear some miners been blabbing about a machine gun they found. Apparently, they got it stashed up at Gap Tooth Breach. What do miners want with a machine gun? Shoot it at somebody, I suppose? Or sell it? I don't know. I've never been down a mine in all my life. <laughs> Sounds real fishy to me, Irish. I've just about had it with you and your game. You and Wes Dickens are so crooked, you can swallow nails and spit out corkscrews. Maybe if you was more cordial with folks, they might be better inclined to help you. I saved your life and you repaid me by lying, nearly getting me killed. Mm. Not far now, Johnny. We should go around the side of Gap Tooth so the miners don't see us coming. I still don't know what miners would want with a machine gun. Miners are always fighty bastards. Spend too long without daylight and foxes and it starts playing with your mind. I never heard so much shit come out of one mouth. Only telling you what I heard. Oh, and we'll need a wagon or something to get it out of there. That gun's heavier than sin. So how was I sense. supposed to move it by myself last time? You two-faced little bastard. <laughs> yeah, how come the only one that's like slightly there honest is Seth? Let's stop here a moment to get a lie of the land. The grave robbing necrophile is the, the more trustworthy the one. Scene, and there's a shaft them bastards used to haul out heavy ore. We, I mean you, can use that lift to get you and the gun to the surface. I do it all myself, but the mines play havoc with me sinuses. I'll find us a fine place to hide these horses, and then return with a borrowed flat wagon. I'll meet you at the mouth of the mine shaft, but Irish, I strongly advise you don't run off this time. 
You must be lost, cowboy. This is private property. Not lost. Open fire! Go on, horsies, go on. This is mighty generous of you, mister. Okay. Oh, that might have been. No, no, that wasn't a person. I was about to get concerned that that was a horse. Oh, don't. No, don't run. Don't run from me. Just want friendship through the exchange of bullets. Oh man, there's like so many of you. You're like little ants. Come on, John. Take the shot. using dead eye when crouched. I just have to remember that. It upsets him for some reason. where some of these shots are coming from, honestly. Who else wants some? Should have been checking the other ones, but oh well. about this. Oh. 
Okay then. Rude. They such a dead eye on you. Excuse me, mister. yourself like that. Alright. Get to rolling, John. To slow down? Absolutely not. We don't need to know how to slow it down. Block. Okay. Speed bump. I have places to be. You would be so kind as to move. <laughs> oh, he's kind of just riding it at this point. That's fun. being hauled up this lip. Load up and I'll engage the gears. I hope something's stuck. Sakes alive! She is. What a beautiful weapon. God's own gun. Ain't that the truth? I got us a borrowed flatbed right down below. Meet me at the bottom of the hill! All right. Come on, I want to get it to the hill. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, hop on, John. <laughs> I shot him in the butt. No! Rude! How dare you try to ruin my ride? Oh, this is fun. Hold on, Johnny boy. Nearly there, Johnny boy! Hey, that's my thing. You don't get to call him that. Only I do. Let's go! A short wee ride now, and we'll have this executive peacemaker delivered to Old West Dickens. Make sure it doesn't fall off on the way. At least he helped. Is that all the pieces we need in order to get to Bill? Wait, no, Irish has another mission. Oh. Oh, let's take that. Any other chest in any of these little tents? I also need to check the map to see exactly where Irish went off to. Yeah. Because more than likely when we come back, we'll go see Irish. Maybe then we'll have all the pieces we need to finally go after Bill. And I need to remember to run back to the other side of the map, to that other town. And go hand those flowers off to that one guy who asked for them. Because I do believe we have the three that we need. Oh, get outside, John. There we go. Alright, I guess I can check this other house really quick. This other little building. 
Can I go upstairs? Can I get in if I go upstairs? Yeah. Uh, nothing of interest in here, though. Can I... No. Can't go that way. Hmm. Oh. Luckily, door is open from both sides. They just push open. Okay. Alright. Let's check. Ooh. What's on my map? I'm pretty sure I already have all the different there types of flowers that I need, but might as well grab this. Alright. Irish, where have you gotten off to? Ooh. Funny man. Hold up. Okay, sweet. So Irish is close to where I have to pass the flowers off anyway. I was gonna just end this episode, but where'd it go? Oh, it's about to get so mad. I wanna know what the funny man is. You can't just throw something like that on my map and expect me to not check it out. He looks like he's back on this hill that we literally just got off of. Oh my god, Bill. Bill! 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 Stop with all the movement. Refrain. Oh, Bill! Come on, you can do it. I swear there are semi-trucks that maneuver better than these horses do. Oh, is he down in the mine? My brain was like, can I make that? And I really don't think I can. Let's go. I really don't think I should attempt that. Um, not exactly. I'm just gonna... <laughs> You're fine. It's just a bruise knee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're fine. Okay. Where exactly was the entrance of this mine? It's right there. It's, oh, 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 yeah, you just keep going. You just keep on going. All right. He's fine. He's fine. You know, you're supposed to let your kids fall down so they build up resistance or something. I don't know. John's fine, though. I want to go see the funny man. And if he's not funny, I'm gonna be mad. Glad to see you. Oh. Well, this is a weird predicament you have found yourself in. Shake your hand, but I'm a little tied up. Jimmy, <laughs> I didn't know you were a miner. I'm not, sport. This is the first time that I've ever been underground. Oh. But I like getting a preview of being buried. It should be fun, but not funny. What? Why are you Your here? Your eastern is wasted on my dumb western brain, sport. Oh, don't worry, you're not missing much. I'm beginning to think that this article will be better written on a tropical island in the arms of a beautiful maiden. Interesting idea. Now, can we get out of here? Yes, please. Jimmy, how'd you end up in this predicament? Are you still here for any reason other than my bristling charisma? Oh, do, okay, is this mission- your help, sir. Now, I must continue on this path of discovery alone. So I'm just supposed to keep finding him? Sir. Please do not get tied up again. I might not be so willing to help you the next time. Alright, we're just gonna send Jimmy Free on his journey out into the wilderness. Be free, Jimmy, be free. We'll find him again at some point. Hopefully not in a hole, but... Jimmy will be fine. All right, we got one more mission for Irish, which is luckily right around where I need to be to turn those flowers into that one guy. Probably ride down that way on horse just to see if there's like any strangers in the area I want to interact with. But that'll be the first thing that we do when we come back. We will um, hand the flowers off, go see Irish, and then hopefully that'll open the doors to be able to finally get to Bill, which will be a really interesting... Uh, meeting or being reunited with our old friend Marion but I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode I hope you join me again and I'll be seeing you very soon bye now